Hello viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today my son Adib will make authentic birria deres and delicious quesa birria tacos. Hi viewers, today I will be showing you all how to make authentic birria deres. Birria is a Mexican meat stew made with rich cuts of goat or beef, chiles, and an amazing spread of aromatics. Today's special recipe is perfect to make after Eid al -Adha with the meat from your korbani. I will also show you how to use your birria to make cheesy quesabiria tacos. This is a long recipe, so let's get started. I'll start by showing you my first set of ingredients. I'm using 5 pounds of chuck roast, so I'll have to make sure to cook the beef for a long time until it is very tender. I have a cinnamon stick, 3 bay leaves, a tablespoon of toasted coriander seeds, a tablespoon of peppercorns, and one chicken bouillon cube. For my peppers, I need 6 guajillo chiles, 3 chiles de arbol, and 5 ancho chiles. Wash your peppers before cooking with them. You can also remove the seeds if you would like, but I kept mine in. I also need whatever bones I have to give my broth extra flavor. Lastly, I have one large onion cut into fourths and eight cloves of garlic. Cut your meat into smaller pieces so then the flavors can enter the meat easily. My ingredients are now ready, so I'm going to add everything to a very large pot. Adding in my meat and bones, and to this I'm adding eight cups of water. In goes the bouillon, cinnamon, bay leaves, coriander, and peppercorns. And the onions and garlic. I'm adding two heaping spoons of salt and turning on the heat to let this come to a simmer. As the water heats up, using a spoon to skim off the fat will keep the broth very clean. Now I can add the chiles. I'm going to add them to the pot and then press them down with a spoon. The peppers have to get soft, so I'm going to cover this and let them cook for an hour. During this time, there will be more scum on the surface, so take the lid off every now and then and skim off the top. Next, I'll show you the process of blending tomatoes and peppers and spices for the birria. Take two medium-sized tomatoes and let them boil in a pot of water. To help blend down the tomatoes, I'm going to collect some of this beef broth. After blending the tomatoes with the broth, I'm going to set aside this puree for later. It's been an hour, so now I'm going to pick out my chiles, cinnamon stick, onions, and garlic. I'm also collecting more broth. 
Use scissors to remove the stems from all your chiles. I also need four bay leaves, five cloves of garlic, four cloves, two tablespoons of paprika, a chunk of peeled ginger, a teaspoon of peppercorns, two teaspoons of oregano, two teaspoons of cumin, and salt to taste. I also need one third cup of vinegar. I'll add everything to the blender, the peppers, the cinnamon stick, the garlic cloves from the broth, the onion from the broth, and all of my spices. Adding in the vinegar and also some of the broth. Blend this for two to three minutes until it is very smooth. I'm adding the tomato puree into the pot. And I'm also adding my blended peppers back into the pot. After stirring those together really well, I'm going to add some more salt to taste. I added about another cup of water and now I'm going to cover this and let it cook on medium heat for two hours until the meat is very soft. This is how the birria looks after one hour. I'm gonna cover this back up and let it cook for another hour. The birria is done, so now I'm gonna shred the beef. I have to strain the liquid so then we can have our consomme. Once you shred the beef, add it back into your strained liquid. And there we have it, our completed birria de res. You can serve it in a bowl with cilantro, onion, and lime, or you can use it to make tacos, which I'll show you next. Onions and cilantro are pretty much necessary whenever you eat media, so that's what I'm doing. I'm dicing a large onion and chopping a bunch of cilantro. Next, I'm shredding Oaxaca cheese, which I'm gonna put inside my tacos. Oaxaca cheese is a Mexican cheese, which is really good for melting. 
corn tortillas are a must for these tacos. Start by dipping the tortillas in the birria to coat both sides. Put the tortillas in a hot pan with some melted butter or olive oil. Flip the tortillas and cook on both sides until it starts to get crispy. Now the tortillas are ready. Add some of the beef from the birria to each of the tortillas. I'm adding Oaxaca cheese to each taco. Close the tacos and cook them until they are crispy and the cheese is melted. The tacos are ready. Make sure to serve them with the consomme and top them with onions, cilantro, and lime. The tacos are crisp, the meat is juicy, and the cheese is melty. You're going to fall in love with them. Now I'm gonna try them. Dip the tacos in your consomme for the ultimate taste. These are so good, and it was well worth the time it took to make. Thank you for watching today's special video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to my mom's YouTube channel, Hasina Mustafa Munna's Recipes. I hope everyone has a safe and happy Eid. Allah Fiz.